Hey guys, I am Nitij and this is the best practices video series about HTML. So I hope that all of you are doing good and this is the second part of the HTML best practices video series. So in this video I am going to talk about these five points or these five topics. So let's start with the first one. First one is the consistency. So consistency simply means that uh, we should always try to follow uh, some certain standard of coding or cer certain style of coding and we should always or we should always try to be consistent in our approach whenever we are writing code so for an example let's say we have an anchor and this anchor has the target of I think let's say google.com so right now the value of href attribute is enclosed in double quotes we can also use single quotes inside of double quotes and this is not wrong but if you are using single quotes then keep on using single quotes everywhere but if you are using double quotes then keep on using double quotes everywhere although I have really seen using single quotes for HTML elements attribute value but I'm just giving, giving an example. Another example could be, uh, let's suppose that we have a div and we need to set the class value of this div. So I have seen many times people using capital name for attributes. And I mean, what we can do is, I, I, I don't know why someone would use a, uh, all, all caps for attribute names, but I have seen people doing this. The point is that if you are using uh, all uppercase attribute names then please do this for your entire application and don't you know write HTML code in which something is written in in a specific way in one point and then in an entirely different way at another point so try to remain consistent whenever you are writing HTML okay the second one is boolean attribute value so there are so many attributes uh, which basically uh, show that the attribute is is turning something on or off so for an example if we have an input with the type of checkbox then to check this checkbox what we can simply do is we can set the attribute checked equals to checked I mean I have seen this at so many different places so many people do this but in reality we don't have to assign any value to this checked attribute if this attribute is boolean in nature then we can simply add the attribute to the element itself without assigning any value to it another example could be I think I think another example could be a select list uh, with options and there could be a selected option and instead of writing selected equals to selected simply write selected only as an attribute for the option and that would also be fine so it will you know save us so many uh, so many uh, bytes of space I mean I'm not really sure if this is uh, this is a performance gain but the code which is really not necessary to write should be avoided and yeah that was about the boolean attribute value okay so the third one is keep css and script references separate so uh, this is uh, this could be more uh, of a personal preference but the standard way of uh, writing or including css or script references uh, is to you know keep the script references and CSS references separate from each other so if you have multiple references then always uh, club them uh, together like club script references together and then CSS references together never mix them up for an example uh, let's say okay so let's suppose that we ha that we have to include the reference of a script and 
for that we can add the script element and let's suppose that we have to include I think let's say jQuery dot js actually dot min dot js is more helpful and after that we decide to I don't know include a link for a style sheet and then we can give the href for it let's call it main.css and then after that we decide to include the reference of the script for our app etc so instead of writing them as mixed up all together what we should do is we should simply club them and the better way to do is to write scripts and style sheet links references separately and I mean it's your preference if you want to move scripts to the top or if you want to move the style sheet to the top but I think the style sheets should be to the top okay so the fourth one is avoid a div whenever you can so if uh, you are not tightly bound by the requirement of using a div always try to avoid uh, using a div so for an example if you want to divide your page into certain sections then don't use the don't use div for that there is a certain HTML element which is called a section and we can use sections to divide our page and another example could be if you want to let's say club together a piece of text then instead of using div to do that we can use the span for that so on, only use div when there is no other option left or when it is the uh, most obvious choice to make and the last one is use of alt attributes now this is easy and I hope that all of you are already following it but if you are not then please start doing so because there are so many uh, people who are visually impaired and they cannot really uh, see the image properly and they have to read the description of the alt keyword so also some users might have disable the image loading option in the browser although I am not really sure if anyone would do that but it is still a possibility and we should write our code by taking into account uh, all the users which might use our application so uh, these were the best practices and they are very easy to follow and once they get into practice they are uh, you know easy to write also because sometimes we simply avoid writing good code out of laziness but when things come into practice then it's pretty easy to write good code and yep that's it for this video so I hope that uh, you will like this video so please subscribe to my channel if you want to receive the news about new videos and thank you and have a nice day bye